Hi everybody. I want to do a short video today to talk about the local rationality principle. This this principle is like one of my aha moments in safety. So this is a really important concept that can really help us understand human performance in organizations and even outside of organizations. So the local rationality principle is sort of related to some other things you may have heard of. Um, some people say it's similar to the bounded rationality principle or bounded rationality. I'm not totally sure I agree with that, but we'll set that aside for now. It's more related to something I would say um, that uh, like Gerd Gigerenzer talks about with the ecological rationality. But basically the local rationality principle is the idea that people do things that make sense to them in the moment, right? So when we're trying to understand behavior or choices or actions or whatever, we can't, you know, we're judging it from an outside perspective. And so it may seem silly to us, um, but when we get into that situation with that individual, the behavior actually makes sense, right? And so a key sort of question that we always need to be asking ourselves is, what about that situation made it make sense to do it that way? So when we are trying to understand another person's behavior, we need to be asking this question or a similar type question. And the power of a question like this is it takes us out of what's going on in here and forces us to look at the environment, the situation, the context. So things like goals, right? What was the person trying to achieve? The environment they're in, right? So the way people behave changes depending on where you're at, right? First, you know, think about like how you behave at home or how you behave at work. It's sort of different, right? The resources that you have, your experience. Have you been in this situation before or is this brand new to you? Um, or have you been in similar situations, right? The norms that are that you're following, right, within the social system that you belong to. Um, and then just constraints that you have, like how much time, how much space, um, you know, other things that may be going on that could be influencing that person's behavior, your behavior. So a quick and easy example of this, this is a picture that I found on the internet, and you can see it's a whole bunch of people obviously not following the rule, right? They're being told to, to not play or climb on the pipe, and all of them are, right? And so from the outside, wow, how can they be so stupid or so um, bad, right, to, to violate the rule? But um, if we apply the local rationality principle, we can start to see, okay, wait a minute, why would it make sense to do it that way? Right, so one thing right off the bat, you can't see, but it doesn't appear that the sign faces the other direction, right? I don't know how these people got to this pipe, um, but the sign that's telling them not to do what they're doing isn't facing them. So I would assume a lot of them can't even see it. And okay, when you're in a situation, how do you know how to behave? Well, one of the ways you know how to behave is look at what other people are doing, right? And so when they're observing the environment they're in, they see other people doing it, and we'll just make sense to do it that way, right? Um, and then think of the goals they're trying. They're trying to have fun, right? There's no obvious hazard or risk, right? And, you know, in the absence of other information, we interpret risk by looking at what other people are doing. Um, and so, in a way, it sort of just makes sense. You're a kid or a person, you know, on the beach trying to have fun, um, and you see this pipe there, well, and all these other people are doing it, and why, why not, right? Um, and you have no obvious reason not to, right? And so the power of this local rationality principle is it really enables us to get into the mindset of the individual and see the context of their decisions and actions. Um, and so you can see how this would apply in things like accident investigation. We're trying to understand failures, right? One of you know my own sort of uh, uh, you know, rules that I apply to accident investigation is I don't stop the investigation until everyone's act decisions and actions make sense to me. May not mean that I agree with what they did, but if I look at it and it's bizarre or it doesn't, you know, I, I can't understand it, then that's a clue that I, I'm not understanding their local rationality, right? And so I need to dig a little bit deeper. But you can also see it like thinking about it in terms of design. Right? How can we design systems so that it makes sense to do things a certain way or that it doesn't make sense to do things a different way? And so we then have to put ourselves into the mindset of the individual or individuals who are going to be our user, users, our customers. Right? I hope this video is useful um, and gets you thinking a little bit more about 
how we can understand human performance out in the field.